folks. Hey, he's uh, he's pretty banged up inside now. Whoever did this left him for dead. A uh, lesser man wouldn't have survived. So. I'm going to need a statement from him, doctor. Well, he's in no condition to give you one. And I'll also need a copy of your write-up along with toxicology and blood alcohol level. What are you talking about, Stan? I'm just trying to get some facts here. Oh, come on. You need to be out arresting whoever tried to kill my brother, not testing his blood. I'm just doing my job, Michelle. Okay? I understand how you feel. But we still don't know yet who started all of this. Well, it wasn't Chris. Just find out who did this to him, Stan. I'll do my best, Mr. Vaughn. I really will. In the meantime, I have to file a full report. Will you let me know when I can talk to him? Thank you. He's going to be fine, Michelle. Thanks. Thank you. They're for my best friend. Hey, Sarge. So much for our VIPs. That is. Don't they teach you any basic fighting skills in the Army? How did you do? Not good. But I tell you, that guy was feeling me this morning. <laughs> you okay? That was a hell of a homecoming party. Chris, I don't know if you noticed, but this ain't exactly home anymore. Just milking it. There's some old crutches in the garage. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Crutches. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Need anything? Something wrong? No, good, man. It's good. No, I'm good, Dad. Thanks. Dad. 